And a good Wednesday to you. I'm meteorologist Cindy Fitzgibbon. All eyes continue to track here. Irma, look at that eye making its way now away from the northern Leeward Islands where it did make a landfall overnight. This is still a powerful Category 5 hurricane. The wind speed maintaining that 185 miles per hour. Moving toward the west northwest now at 16 and on this track, it's going to continue to press toward Puerto Rico where we have hurricane warnings up. Also the U.S. British Virgin Islands. You can see the Dominican Republic, part of Haiti under that hurricane warning. And then as you head westward into Cuba, it is a hurricane watch at this point, but the Turks and Caicos, the southern Bahamas, really going to take a beating from this thing. It's a triple threat that we're watching. Not only the wind and the rain, but a big storm surge is a potential, particularly where we have this track going just to the right or east of it. That is where you get the heaviest and the strongest storm surge. So we're talking about the potential here through the Turks, the Caicos, and the southeast Bahamas of a 15 to 20 foot surge. Uh, you get south, and we're not looking at as much of a storm surge places like the Dominican and also on into Puerto Rico. But still, this is going to cause big problems as it continues to just plow through the Caribbean. So here's a closer look at the track forecast to maintain that category five strength over the next 24 to 48 hours. Beyond that, it may weaken some, but we're still talking about a category four storm headed here through the Turks Caicos and also the southern Bahamas. And then look at what happens as it gets closer into Florida. Now the timing on this is going to be during the day on Sunday approaching Florida as a category four hurricane. And when you look at the cone here, less of the eastern Gulf of Mexico is encompassed by this. All of Florida here in the crosshairs and not ruling out completely a pass going by east of the Florida Peninsula. In fact, there's been a major shift overnight in our computer models, turning this a little bit sooner now and really making it appear as though the eastern Gulf of Mexico is less of a threat at this point. In fact, the upper level steering currents are latching on to this jet stream dip really steering this to the east a little bit sooner now. And two of our more reliable computer models, the American and Euro model, are actually taking the center of Irma just east of Miami and having it skim up just the east side of the peninsula toward the Carolinas for a landfall. So we will continue to track this. Irma's track certainly not set in stone yet, but across uh, the southeast and especially Florida, we are keeping a close eye on the track of Irma, of course. And you know what? Not the only thing we're watching in the tropics. We have Jose. We also have Katia here in the Gulf of Mexico. Jose is forecast to become a hurricane, but turn to the north does not look like a threat for the U.S., nor does Katia. It may meander back toward Mexico bringing rain, but luckily, thankfully, not a threat to the Gulf of Mexico in terms of the U.S. landfall. So we'll continue to monitor the tropics for you every step of the way.